Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is Hyphone Pro. Uh, if you like what we do here, please subscribe. And I'm bringing to you another video about our newest forum, TouchSwipe.com, which has a, uh, to do with the uh, newest in technology, touchscreen computers. Uh, a brief story behind that. I uh, went looking. I own a TX2Z Hewlett Packard. Um, I own a iPhone 3GS. I have all the apps and games in the world, let's say, because they give you a lot of free games and stuff at the App Store for my iPhone. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. And then when I got my TX2Z, I found absolutely nothing. So what I decided to do was um, build a forum and kind of if you build it, they will come kind of thing. I'm hoping that we can find developers and a lot of friends and team up together and really uh, make these touchscreen computers the best, you know, and, and really deck them out a lot like the iPhone and, and so that we can really enjoy them. Um, and I know we can if we all team up together to do it. All right, I wanted to bring you some reviews of some of the new apps and games we have over at t touchswipe.com. Um, and I know you, I've gotten a few comments where a lot of people have said they've enjoyed my videos of the reviews I've been doing, so I want to keep it up. Uh, the first game we have, it's called 13 Days in Hell. It's awesome. It's all touch-oriented. It's a, a zombie game. Uh, a lot of iPhone games are a lot like this. It actually reminds me a lot of the, some of the iPhone games they've been coming out with. Um, it's great. You get all different weapons. You get as you progress through the levels, you uh, you get these big scary uh, monsters. They're all they change as you go, um, and it's it's definitely a great game. And I think you'll enjoy it. Just come on down to TouchSwipe.com, and it'll be there free of charge to download. And I'm gonna put HP for iPhone Pro as the chosen one and hit play. Now, just like any other zombie game, you know, you shoot them in the head once, they die. But it's not all that easy, even with your finger, you know, shooting at the guys. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't suggest this for uh, children and, uh, you know, or if you aren't into, you know, like the blood and guts kind of thing. I wouldn't suggest the game. But other than that, it is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. And uh, I'm just going to give you an, a brief demonstration. I usually uh, go full blast on them because, you know, out of some of the shots, you usually hit them in the head. And you don't want them chopping you apart with those axes they have there. So you get the idea. It's, it's really cool. As you um, get through the levels, there is some really creepy <laughs> imaginative stuff. And you can kind of get an idea of all the weaponry you get there, you know, sawed-off shotguns and uh, Uzis and Magnums. And it looks like I've got like a Magnum, uh, 44 Magnum right there. And we got to move on. Uh, I have a lot to show you and a little time to do it. They only give you 10 minutes on uh, YouTube, unfortunately. Oh, uh, here's another air hockey game. I know you're familiar with uh, they have air hockey games for the touchscreen. Uh, this one's very simple. It's a one-player, um, and the computer is relentless. Uh he will tear you apart, so if you're a, a sore loser, I don't suggest the game because uh, this guy is good and it's uh, extremely difficult to beat him. But if you like a challenge, this is the game for you. It is a lot of fun and great for the touchscreen being that it is an air hockey game. All right, and this is Deal or No Deal. I'm sure you're familiar with it. If not, it's an arcade game uh, that's been out, kind of like the uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire style uh, in a sense, only uh, it's uh, fully touch-oriented, and uh, I'm sure uh, you're familiar with it. If not, uh, give it a try. It's a great game. All right, and this game I am extremely impressed with. Um, I can't say that enough. I love this game. It's um, I could probably spend hours playing this game, no problem. It's called Factory Balls, and it, it, you... Uh, you are given an example, and it's up to you to recreate the example of the ball. Uh, they give you the balls, and they give you the tools, and, uh, and once you create it correctly, it falls into the box and ships. So here's an example. They gave you an orange ball with a black ring around it, or a piece of tape, and they give you the bucket of orange paint and the tape. Obviously, this is the first level. So I'm going to grab a ball out of here, put it in the orange paint, there we go, now it's orange. And wrap it in tape, and blink, off it goes. And on to the next level. 
awesome game. Please, please give it a shot. I guarantee you're going to love it. This is a gong. Uh, just an app that we have. It's uh, very neat. It has a sort of a meditative kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, if you ever wanted to gong somebody or just have some fun with your touch screen... There you go. <laughs> it gives me the idea of the uh, old 70s game show, The Gong Show. That's what I think of when I see it, but uh, it's interesting. It's something to play with. This is called Governor of Poker. This game is great. The graphics are nice. The interface is, is nice. Um, I'm actually already in the middle of a game, as you can see. Um, if you listen here... Uh, you can hear how they speak, and it's definitely got a good, uh, a good uh, vocal um, interface as well. I fold. Oh. Flop. I read. Fold. Fold. The madam calls. I fold. Fold. Turn. Great game, great game. I definitely suggest it if you're into the poker. Uh, next game is a Connect Four style game. It's uh, three-dimensional. A lot of fun if you're into the Connect Four style. Uh, I see a lot of these as well on the iPhone. Um, this is a very fun game. Uh, again, the computer is not going to give you a break. Um, you, it's, it's kill or be kill with this game. Uh, but I'm telling you, it is definitely a, a good interface, great graphics. Oh, there I go. I lost. Um, but a lot of fun again. And we're going to move on. Again, we don't have much time. We've got about another less than three minutes left. Uh, so I'm going to be really quick. Next game is called Jedi Trainer. Remember the Star Wars where you get the ball and he had the lightsaber? Well, you have to reflect the, um, you know, what they're shooting at you in order to shoot them back. And you can change the color of your lightsaber and such on this. As you can see, I just turned it green and such. Uh, definitely a fun game. I suggest you check it out. Uh, next game is Missile Command. I love it. Uh, this game is a heck of a lot of fun on a touch screen. It, it makes the old school game uh, all brand new again on this. Um, please check it out. I, I, as you can see here in the video, uh, it is awesome. You just boom. Boom. I mean, you can just go to town on this, and you got to protect your city, um, just like the old Atari game, but it is a blast, I promise you. I've already gotten some comments in the forum about it, about how great it is. Here's another memory game. Less than two minutes, so I'm going to really rush through this, guys. Another memory game reminds me of Simon. Uh, I like it a lot better though. It's actually uh, a lot more um, tech. It looks a lot more futuristic. Oh, got that wrong. But uh, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Another game we have Neurolite. It's a another type of a Simon style um, futuristic game. Uh, you're given um, cubes. Uh, try to get as far as possible without losing three lives. And you have to imitate it again, once again. So, as you can see, three, two, one. It's going to light up, and you got to follow the pattern. So, and there's success, and you move to the next level. Uh, moving along, one more to show you here. One of the best. Who wants to be a millionaire? Very touchscreen uh, friendly. Almost uh, would think it was just a touchscreen interface. What colors are the United States flag? Well, red, white, and blue. I guess it's my final answer. And you get your lifelines and such. And uh, it's a great game, definitely. Well, we're down to less than 10 minutes, so I have to let you go. YouTube, it's been great talking to you again. My, uh, uh, the link to the forum will be on the right, touchswipe.com. Don't miss out if you have a touchscreen computer. If you don't come by, you really don't know what you're missing. And uh, for those who know about us, get the word out. Let's get the developers down there, and let's start making the best of what we have. Thanks, YouTube. Always a pleasure talking with you, and I'll see you again. Bye now.